In this video, we're going to make a spinning symbol. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool I'm going to, and I'm going to make a square. Then I'm going to select that square and make it a graphic symbol. And I'm just going to call it square. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and right click on that symbol. And I'm going to go to convert to symbol again. And this time I want to choose movie clip as the type. And I'm going to call this spinning square. Then I want to go to my library. And I'm going to double click on the spinning square symbol. And you can see in the top left here, I'm inside the spinning square. Now if I click somewhere else on my stage and then I click on my square, if I go to my properties, I can see the instance of a square. So it is a symbol, which means I can right click in frame one and I can create a motion tween. Now all I have to do to be able to turn this is click anywhere between frame one and 24 and in my properties I go to direction under rotation and I can choose CW which stands for clockwise or CCW which is counterclockwise so I'll go ahead and choose CW and then if I scrub through my timeline you can see it spins now keep in mind I'm inside the symbol so if I go back to scene one you can see I have an instance of my movie clip if I play this, I hit Command Enter, it's going to show me that symbol spinning. And that's the reason we used a movie clip, because if we just used a graphic symbol, if we only had one frame, it wouldn't spin. So since we have a symbol here, we can go ahead and turn this into a tween. So let's say in the first frame, maybe I want it on the left, and I'm going to insert a keyframe at the end here. And maybe I want it to end up over here and maybe in between I want it to have some ups and downs so I'll curve it a little bit and then I'll go ahead and insert some keyframes kind of in the middle and I'll drag it down here and then maybe I'll insert another keyframe here at frame 15 and I can drag it up here and now when I play this you can see I have a spinning symbol that also follows the, sh the path that I just created. 